your sin is separated between you and God. Quite some years ago, I was invited to give a talk in my old high school. The teacher called me up and he said, you know, I, for whatever reason, I just can't understand Christianity. I just don't get it. And I said, well, maybe the reason is that all these other religions are manufactured by men so men can understand them. But this one comes from God, so you'll need God's help. And he said, well, maybe that's it. Well, I said, what did you have in mind? And he said, well, I suppose you'd like to tell the students why you think Christianity is superior to all the other religions of the world. Well, that sounds like a great start. But anyway, I came in, and at one point, one of the students kind of exploded and said, I've never heard anything so ridiculous in all my life. You talking to God, God talking to you, you need to see a psychiatrist. Anyway, when she finally settled down, I said, well, I'm sure there are people who feel like that. I'm glad you felt free to express yourself. But... I just wonder for a minute, if I were to say um, 2 plus 2 equals 4, and somebody says, I don't believe you, well, I could prove it to you, can't I? You give me $2, you give me $2, see you later, I got $4, right? I can prove that to you. There are people who say, well, I don't believe the Bible because I don't know who wrote it. Well, who wrote the math tables? Well, well, you use them, though, right? They work. And that's why I use the Bible. However God used men to write this book, it proves itself to be the Word of God. I say to this girl in the front row, prove to me you were in your first period class. She says, I was there. Well, good, that's good evidence. That's admissible in a court of law, isn't it? That's called testimonial evidence. But maybe she's lying. So her friends speak up and they say, no, she was there, we saw her there. Good, well, that's eyewitness evidence, isn't it? But maybe they're covering for her. So she pulls out her notes, and she says, no, here, look, here, first period notes, there it is, right there. Well, that's good, that's called documentary evidence. But maybe she copied it from somebody else. Some people say that about the Bible, you know. Finally, the teacher speaks up and says, that girl is the bane of my existence. I wish she was not in first period class, but she was there. Okay? Well, that's critical evidence. And, you know, when we look into the Bible, we have all of these. We have documentary evidence. We have eyewitness. We have testimonial evidence. And we have critical evidence. The conversion of Saul of Tarsus is critical evidence. He was a hostile witness who murdered Christians for a living and ended up writing half the New Testament. People say, well, I don't have much confidence in the resurrection because everybody who wrote about the resurrection was a Christian. So, well, I think that's pretty convincing evidence in itself, isn't it? That everybody who looked into the evidence for the resurrection became a Christian. I think that's a pretty strong argument all by itself. To me, Christianity is a very simple message. Your sin is separated between you and God. And there's a door. A door through this great wall which we built with our own hands. And the Lord Jesus is the door. And you're outside and God's inside and he says, come on in. Stepping into a relationship with God through the Lord Jesus that deals with the problem of sin.